Today we're going to be taking this clear plastic trash can and doing some stenciling to make it more fun. These are like $5, which is number one, a fantastic price. And number two, they are the perfect blank canvas to customize it to fit your room. This trash can is located in this little office space, which as you can see is a pretty simple area. There's a blue lamp, but other than that, there's mostly just white and pink tones going on. Next, we need to pick our stencil. I really debated between this fun polka dot pattern and this rose, but ultimately I decided on the rose. Because the space is so simple, I think the rose will really pop in comparison to the equally simplistic pattern of the polka dots. Next for our colors, I'm going to be mixing these reds to make a light pink, and I'll be doing the same with the green. For the stem, mixing the green with white to line it up. I then decided to go with a pretty small brush since there's a lot of details in the rose. Then, of course, the next step is to tape your stencil to the can. Because it's a curved surface, it's extra important to make sure the stencil is pulled taut when you tape it. Once you're happy with how your colors are mixed, it's time to get painting. Don't forget to wipe off any excess paint on a paper towel. You want to be working with a fairly dry brush to reduce bleed through and stenciling. And as you can probably tell by just this first stroke, we're definitely going to need to do multiple coats to make sure the colors are really solid and filled in. Additionally, because this is a curved surface, I'm taking extra care to hold down the edges around the part of the stencil that I'm painting. This is just to ensure that there's no bleed through. Traditionally, when stenciling, you probably wouldn't have to do this, but I'm doing this just as a safety measure since it is a curved surface, and because of that, the stencil is laying a bit weird. I'm doing the same process for the stem. And here is the finished first coat, and now I'm going in for a second coat. If you do run out of paint and need to remix your colors, it's okay if they're not exactly the same shade. Because this is a flower, I think it would really benefit from having different shades for different petals. Now for my favorite part, the reveal. I think it turned out really cool. I did about four coats of paint in total, which I think was really necessary. However, as you can see, there are some parts with a little bit of bleed through as well as some areas that aren't as filled in as I'd like. So I'm going to be freehanding it and mixing some red with white, but this time I'm gonna be making it much lighter than before. So when I fill in some areas, I'm also adding a highlight, taking care of two things at once. That's what I'm talking about. Now we could just stop here, but after giving the trash can 24 hours to dry, I went back and looked at it and I realized, I think we can improve it a lot more by going in and adding some highlights and shadows. So I'm gonna get white and red for the shadows and highlights. And hopefully that helps a lot. I'm always get nervous when I am happy with something and then I decide to go back and add more because I think there really is just a skill to knowing when to stop painting. I do believe that you can add too much to keep improving and eventually it is too much. Hopefully in this case, it works out and I think it will. I feel really confident about this. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go do it. I'm going to be using a darkish green, red, and some white for my highlights and shadows. You again want to wipe excess paint off on a paper towel. This time we're not doing it to reduce bleed through and stenciling, but since we're freehanding, doing this will make it easier to stay inside the lines of the stencil. Again, this is optional, so if you don't feel comfortable freehanding some shadows and highlights, no worries at all. This step isn't necessary, or it can also be done before you initially take your stencil off, so you can stay inside the lines of the stencil, guaranteed. I'm adding red as a shadow to the bottom petals and to some of the side petals where the shadows would naturally fall on a rose. Next, when you add highlights, this is one of the only times I'd recommend not washing your brush in between color changes. This is because the red that's already on your brush will mix in with the white that you're picking up and making it easier to blend when you add the highlight so it'll become a kind of light pinkish white. And then lastly, I'm adding some dark green to the base of the stem and that's the end of my finishing touches. I think this turned out so cute and going back to add the detailing made a big difference. As you can see, all of the colors in this office space work together really well with the trash can. Head to our website to check out more of our stencils, and don't forget to tag us on social media with your stencil art.